Welcome back to my channel. Hi, I'm AJ, also known as The Glitter Archives. I'm a 23 year old living in New York City and I work as a data analyst from home, but I also do Etsy on the side. And I would love to show you what an Etsy workday in my life looks like. It is Thursday, January 11th, and it's about 11 a.m. right now. I have my lunch scheduled for now, and I figured I would get some Etsy stuff done and hopefully get it sent out by the end of the day. My Etsy shop is the Glitter Archives. I sell custom commemorative concert tickets. So for context, over the last few days, I have gotten three physical orders in. I sell both physical and digital tickets. I've gotten three physical orders over the last few days, and I like to wait for three to come in because that's how many fit on a page. So if I'm able to save paper and wait for the three to come in, that's what I like to do. So today I'm aiming to get those three orders done, printed, and hopefully sent out by the end of the day. I need to take a look at the orders and make sure that all of the information I need for the tickets is included. So I will take you along for that journey and and if everything goes right, hopefully these will be in the mail when I leave tonight. I have tickets to a five o'clock showing for Mean Girls tonight, so I figured I would just drop them off on my way. The orders are for two of my Bewitched Goddess tour tickets and one of the Guts tour tickets. It looks like I have most of the information here. I'm going to reach out to one of the Leve Bewitched Goddess Tour ones because the seat information is a little funky. So I'm going to reach out. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start working on these. Essentially, I have a little personalization section in the listing. And I'm going to take all of that information, open up my Photoshop files and edit everything that needs to be edited and kind of go from there. But yes, I have my laptop right here. So I'm going to go ahead and bust those out. Like I said, I'm hoping that I'll be able to get it done during my lunch break because then I can print during, you know, an afternoon break once things kind of slow down. And yeah, then we will go from there. Here, I'm just working through the customer's orders. I always double check the personalization information with the artist's website, just to make sure that there's no typos, that the dates are correct, etc. I really love working directly with customers and that's a large part of my Etsy shop experience. I love making sure that the ticket that they're looking for is what they get. So it's a bit later in the afternoon, closer to like two o'clock-ish. The tickets are done. Yay. I was able to connect with the customer and make sure the right information was on the ticket. So we're all good there. All three tickets are done. Now I just need to get them ready to print. And I also need to print the shipping labels and the receipts. And once all of that is printed, I'll be able to cut and package and then we'll be done. So I'm going to get everything ready for printing and I will see you over next to the printer. Welcome to the other side of my office. This here is my trusty printer as well as my thermal printer for labels. I have everything set up on my laptop to print. I'm going to print the tickets, the cards, the receipts, and the label. I think that's it. I'm just gonna go ahead and start printing. One of the most difficult things when I was developing my Etsy shop to figure out was print quality. It's something that seems so easy at first glance, but it's something that takes a lot of time and effort to make sure that when you're printing materials, they turn out well. So you can see here, I'm double checking every single thing that's coming out of this printer to make sure it's something that I'm willing to send. It's something definitely to keep in mind if you're gonna be doing paper products. Yes, hi, welcome back to my desk. So now everything is printed. So I have some supplies over here and I have everything left that I need to package these up. So hopefully it won't take too long. And again, I'm hoping I can just take these with me on my way to the movie and hopefully get these out and in the mail so that everybody can get them. So I'm gonna set up my desk because I need to trim, I have to cut the tickets. And I also have over here, if I can get them out, maybe. I have my envelopes. I also have my 
pens that I use for when I write. And then I also have over here my ticket envelopes. So I'm going to wait on the envelopes before I cut them. But what I like to do is, and you'll kind of see this, put the labels on the envelopes and then put together the entire package once I have everything cut. So I'm gonna start with cutting. Again, I'm gonna put this away and do some voiceover, but just wanted to introduce you to this space. I do have a meeting at three, so this has to get done fairly quickly, but we should be good to go. So, yeah. So I somehow lost a piece to my cutter. All right, well, it's a good thing I have another one. I just didn't know I have to pull it out yet. Oh, I don't know where it went. It, it dived and I don't even see it. Even though it's orange and I should be able to see it. I heard it fall. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and just use this because I have no, really no idea where it went. Okay. So luckily I did have a spare and I was able to finish cutting, thank God. So all of the tickets are cut. I do want to show you an example of a ticket, but I'm not going to show you those because those are current customers and I want to keep their information safe. But I do have some sample Club Renaissance tickets that I got printed for a customer um, who absolutely loved it. One of the things that I like about my tickets is that I double-sided print, but I love the idea of this being a keepsake after your show. So I love putting the set list on the back. Um, I just think it turns out so cute and it's something that you can just put in like an A5 binder and like you can flip it over and be like, oh yeah, they played that song. Oh yeah, they did that. Um, I do have other backs, like for example, um, one of these Leve tickets has just the standard tour back, which is also cute. So this is also very cute. I do prefer the set list one, but... I think this is cute if you're getting this kind of ahead of time, if you're getting this as a gift for someone. But yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and package, but just wanted to show you how everything turned out. And yeah. Also, let it be known, I was very excited for Mean Girls. Like, very excited. I was trying my best, okay? I am not Renee Rapp. But I wish I were, okay? Here I'm just packaging each of the tickets. It's very methodical and I really like this process. And that brings us to the end of the video. Feel free to like it if you like and leave a comment down below if you have any questions about selling on Etsy. And if you haven't already, feel free to subscribe. I'm on this whole year long journey into becoming a YouTuber and you will want to be around for that. I was able to make it to the Mean Girls premiere and I dropped off all of the orders. So yes, a girl can do it all. And with that, thank you for watching and I'll see you next week.